Welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is Cyberborgtronic here to present you with a Hearthstone deck that has probably been here as long as uh, early beta. With the newest expansions like um, Whispers of the Old Gods, we saw the switch between Wild and the new standard format, which means that uh, some cards from the older formats uh, such as Naxxramas and GVG uh, will be removed from the current meta, only allowing the newest expansions to be on play. But a deck that has withstood uh, the tests of time and can be played with the most basics of cards is the Priest deck that I'm presenting you today. It's the Prophet Velen deck, or otherwise known as a Combo Priest. Now before we move on to some gameplays uh, and before we showcase some combos that you can make with this deck, uh, let's take a look at the current deck list and um, tell you a little bit more about um, in detail. Now uh, the deck that you see here currently, uh, the one that we're using, comes from, uh, uh, is built up from the classic card uh, the classic cards. Uh, of course, there uh, you can add some more variety. You can customize the deck to your preference. Uh, and here are some uh, other alternatives uh, and ideas if you ever want uh, to expand uh, with this deck. Uh, here's the main attraction of the deck. Combo Priest, uh, as its name suggests, uh, usually uh, involves around dealing tons of damage. Uh, most preferably an OTK and to do such you need to have at least the three main pieces of the puzzle which is uh, of course having Prophet Velen on the field and uh, two mind blasts which usually finish off your opponent if uh, they're at 20 health or below you're probably wondering why I'm running two Thought Seals in the deck. The reason for that is that, once again, in the uh, early game, um, you want to either have uh, a small amount of board control or uh, minion clear. With Thought Seal, you get the best of two worlds. You either get spells from your opponent or you get minions uh, to use. Usually you can use it in the early game, which once again either gets you spells or minions. Or uh, you can also even use it in the late game, and when it goes late game and um, your opponent might probably have uh, that one legendary or maybe even two legendaries in the deck, uh, chances probably are that you're going to have, uh, you're going to get a hold um, of said legendaries when you use a thought seal in uh, during the late game. As you've noticed, this uh, version of the Prophet Velen deck uh, that I'm running uh, focuses a lot on draw power, and that's simply because you want to get your uh, combos in your hand and have them there as quickly uh, as possible. And to do such, you have Loot Hoarder, which uh, is a good card early game to get some draw power go uh, going. Of course, a Northshire Cleric, which is a staple basically in the deck. And finally, uh, Power Word Shield, uh, as well as a Zerd Drake, which um, lets you draw uh, more thoroughly until you get the combos, uh, which is like I said, having a Prophet Velen and two Mind Blasts ready to go. If you wanna add some more variety to the deck, um, Flash Heal is always an option. Um, Light of the Naru, uh, which is also uh, a second option. Velen's Chosen. Uh, there's also Excavated Evil, Light Bomb. Uh, I know sometimes that people run a Vol'jin uh, in the deck. Um, other suggestion might be a Wild Pyromancer or a Death Lord. Um, Alex Straza, um, in most decks, uh, as you can see, I am running a uh, mind control to kind of fill in for the 
uh, other legendaries that you may or may not have, such as Alex Straza, and I believe to some extent I have also seen some Yseras. Uh, as stated before, um, the cards that you can start out with that are great for early game, um, Northshire Cleric is a perfectly good card to start out with, even if the card is a 1-3. Uh, the fact that it costs 1 mana is uh, well enough on its own and it gives you uh, some sort of early board control because right after, uh, if it's turn 1 and it goes to turn 2, um, usually if you have a power word shield in your hand, uh, go ahead and uh, equip it to your Northshire Cleric, that way you draw uh, more cards. Or, most of the time, you will either have a Loot Hoarder, which is a 2-drop uh, a two drop for a 2-1, which once again gives you uh, early board control, and either your opponent is going to want to clear the board, or he's going to want to attack you directly, uh, but the logic thing... Um, to do would be to clear the board early game so that's what enemies usually go for as for the Senjin sh uh, shield masters uh, they're there to kind of stall a little bit in the in the mid game um, usually if you have a taunt your opponent uh, is obligated actually to destroy it so he spends more time uh, on your um, on your Senjin rather than uh, attacking you directly. Also as well with the Senjin, uh, once again, uh, as stated before, in this deck you're looking for draw power to get all of the combo cards ready. So with the Senjin, that's exactly what it does. It stalls you for time and it lets you draw. As far as the Shadow Word Deaths goes, uh, it's probably not recommended to run two of them, but uh, for the sake of the cause, um, if your opponent is a druid and he has, and as we know, druids uh, will tend to play a lot. Well, depending, well, depending on what kind of druid uh, it is, um, druid will probably have some high cost cards. So if you have that shadow word death with you, that's really perfect. Uh, if he ever pulls out a treant or any other high high cost monsters. It's also a great clear for uh, if ever your opponent plays a Dr. Boom. We all know how he's annoying. Now if we get a little bit more into, uh, into depth with uh, a pretty cool combo that I like uh, doing, it's a board clearing combo. It involves the uh, Akanai Soul Priest and the circle of healing, uh, circle of healing, uh, mostly circle of healing because your circle of healing can either play two roles in this deck. It can either act as draw power by healing um, any damaged minion on the field. It even includes uh, the enemy's minion. And if you have that Northshire cleric on the field already, and there's a bunch of minions uh, that are damaged and you use Circle of Healing, which restores 4 health, uh, which uh, considers it as to be a heal, will let you draw that much, uh, that much minions that you've just healed with your Circle of Healing. Which brings me to my next card, the Akanai Soul Priest. Once again, you can use uh, the Akanai Soul Priest for board clear, uh, as stated before with the Circle of Healing. Or, if you're at 6 mana, and your opponent just uh, dropped, uh, dropped a monster, you can easily put your... There's no shame into putting an Akhenai Soul Priest, and then using it, um, and then using your hero power um, to deal damage to your opponent's uh, minions. One thing you do have to watch out for with Akhenai Soul Priest is make sure that uh, if ever you want to use Holy Nova, that Akhenai Soul Priest is not on the field uh, because that will damage you and your minions after the effect of Holy Nova resolves. Um, it's really rare that uh, the situation will happen that you have to use Holy Nova while you have a Soul Priest on the field, uh, but it's really rare. 
but if you uh, come into this situation where you have no choice uh, then there's nothing really much to do and you're obviously going to be forced to play Holy Nova. The Azurdrix are probably uh, the best deal that you can have between uh, having a spell damage and being able to draw cards because once again if we go back to the basics the deck is all about uh, drawing cards until you have the combos in your hand. With the Zerdrake, it makes that possible. And if they're still on the field when you're uh, at your uh, when you have the combo uh, in your hand, if a Zerdrake it's uh, is still remaining on the field, then that's perfectly good for you. It deals way more damage, and if you have both of them on the field, then uh, you're going to be dealing a total of 28 damage. Uh, to your opponent now here's uh, the Emperor Thorisan with um, and why he's in the deck well it's obvious uh, Emperor Thorisan uh, removes one mana uh, every time uh, when it's the end of your turn he removes one mana from all of the cards currently in your hand so if you can make Emperor Thorisan last a couple of turns, like about uh, two to three turns, and you have the combo already in your hand, then that's really perfect because you're going to be dealing tons of damage to your uh, opponent. Now onto Cabal Shadow Priest, uh, the card basically says what what it does. It steals a minion that has uh, two attack or less. Uh, so, for example, if your opponent uh, places, um, let's say, an Arubian Egg, uh, let's say if he places a Summoning Stone, uh, Cabal Shadow Priest would be the perfect intervenient uh, to steal away that, that minion that could uh, cause a problem to us later uh, in the game and have it all for ourselves. Now, if you're still skeptical about the mind control, um, don't worry about it. Like I said, mind control is only there to switch uh, to switch around for the legendaries. You can either remove it and replace it with Alexstrasza uh, or any other legendaries mentioned before. Uh, but mind control is usually the card that you want to play when your opponent plays that one legendary monster and i'm not necessarily talking about like a dr boom um it can be um any legendaries such as deathwing maligos even um even um stealing your own ysera from your opponent that's usually funny finally this prophet velen himself the card says it all prophet velen doubles any damage that you deal and he will double any healing uh, from your hero power and healing in general so prophet velen is the staple for both mind blasts and you want to keep both mind blasts in your hand uh, until you get uh, Prophet Valen. So whenever you're ready um, and your opponent ha uh, is actually below minus uh, either exactly at 20 health or below, that would be the perfect time to put in your Prophet Valen and uh, if you are capable of doing it, shooting uh, both mind blasts. Uh, and what I mean by that is that as Prophet Valen is, is uh, a 7 mana, Mind Blast is a 2 mana cost card, so if you haven't played Emperor Thorisan yet, you might have to wait uh, 2 turns to actually uh, do the combo, but usually you might want to hang on to Prophet Valen and uh, both Mind Blasts until you get Emperor Thorisan so that he can, he can actually make it uh, possible into a uh, 1 turn kill. In total, with Prophet Velen, if I'm not mistaken, you can deal as much as uh, more than 30 health. Um, and that's coming from both Mind Blasts, uh, it's coming also from the Holy Smite, and um, it's also from the Holy Nova, and Azur Drakes. 
combined together. So it's actually more than 30 damage considering you already would have a Prophet Velen uh, on the field already. So anyways guys, uh, that was it for this video. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments of this deck, what you like, what you dislike, uh, what cards would you put in, what cards would you take out. Uh, how would you build the, this type of deck? I want to know from you guys, so uh, leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and share. This has been Cyberborgtronic, thanks for watching.